So for you guys, and either of you can go first, like what's your relationship with scams? It can be a scam story. You can just tell me if you hate scams or you love them. It could be anything. Very I mean, no pressure show. For me personally, I have a, a very conflicting relationship with scams because I, I'm so fascinated by them. I, I love them in a deep, dark, masochistic way because the mindset of a scammer is so interesting to me. The creativity that it takes and the confidence that they have to have to pull this stuff off. I, I don't have that brain. So when I hear about people who do these things, it's very interesting to me. And I kind of love it. But at the same time, it also triggers a massive justice complex in me where I get really oh. mad about it because I don't like people getting, you know. Oh, you like justice? I like justice. Oh. I, I love like... it. I love when someone comes on and likes justice because. Because this is not the place for that. <laughs> no, it absolutely <laughs> is. I, we love a viewpoint that's like, we like some justice and maybe we'll see some, maybe we won't. Maybe. But I, I'm the type that I'm like, okay, well, if you're scamming up, if you're scamming corporations, I love that. Us, that's okay. Yeah, if you're harming people, though, I'm absolutely on your side of like, if they're poor people, marginalized people, people who are really like, you know, you're ruining their lives, mm -hmm. that that upsets me. Because I'm like, come on, don't scam down, scam yeah. up. Yeah. You know? But I love a, I love a corporate espionage kind of scam. Those, you know. You I'll, like a Ocean's Eleven, yeah, like. Yeah, I'll watch that documentary. I'll support that <laughs> narrative. <laughs> Nathan I, is I like a the Robin Hood. follower. Nathan yes. literally comes to set early, and he orders his breakfast the night before. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't cause any trouble. I, I don't want to <laughs> bog down crafty in the morning. <laughs> I'll be pulling up the set. Like, I know how to be the perfect amount of late. Where it's like, it's not going to throw anything off. No one's going to notice on set. I'm not going to disrespect our crew and things like that. But if you call me in and I look at the call sheet and I'm like, wait a minute, I got a little more time than what they're giving me. <laughs> I'm going to take it. I moved three minutes away from Paramount so that if I overslept, which happened once. Uh, You'd still be there in three minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> one time I overslept. Got a phone call from uh, our AD, and he was like, oh, where are you? And I was like, oh, I'm in bed. And he was like, oh, you need to be at work. And I was like, oh, okay. I <laughs> took a shower, like got ready, did everything. I was in work at work in 12 minutes. Wow. That's amazing. Good for you. I mean, d wow. Yeah, see, my problem is I'm too far away for that. I have to leave. Early. Yeah, you got a plan. Because California's always on fire. You never yeah. know when the You're just some. I'm you just be driving be from San Francisco every day, yep. so you yep. got a plan. I need that high speed bullet train real bad to span the Right, where's of all our infrastructure? America, the ghetto. <laughs> the scams that I'm the most into, yes. but also um, dislike the most, are like love scams. Like when people do mm. stuff on apps, mm -hmm. like uh, Tinder Swindler, that really got me. Mm. Like I couldn't stop watching it, but I was furious. <laughs> I just hate the thought of somebody going on an app and like pretending they're something they totally aren't. And apps then... are your safe space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How dare you do this to me on Bumble? I have sent you a prompt. <laughs> An app. I'm not like that. I've also been, I was telling Nathan, I've been swindled um, before by a grandmother. Oh, um, yes. This grandma, I think I've told you before, yes. she, um, she was a very young grandmother and she had um, a motorcycle and I was friends with her daughter and when I went to pick her daughter up one day, she rolled the motorcycle out to the front yard and while I was waiting for her daughter to come out, I was like, oh, like, what's going on? Because she was like shining it up. And <laughs> She was like, I'm just really sad. And I was like, why? Like, what's happening? And she was like, well, like, this motorcycle is my pride and joy. And she was like, but um, I have to sell it. And she was like, I went on Craigslist, and the person's going to be here any minute to take her away. <laughs> and I was like. I love that she did a whole performance. She was like, oh, Miranda's coming. Okay, wheel roll, the bike wheel out. the bike out. Yeah, give me that drag. <laughs> polishing. She was so sad. And I was just like, oh, my God, that's horrible. Like, she was like, yeah, but. She's like, I need the three thousand dollars. She's like, you gotta do what you gotta do, and I was just kind of like, okay. And then I could tell like she was she was hoping I would offer. Yeah, I mean that's why but, she was specific. She was like, yeah, it's crazy. She was wiping the motorcycle with no rags. She's just moving her hand in circles in front of it. She's like, yeah, it's crazy. I gotta shine it up because I don't have three thousand dollars and sixty eight cents. <laughs> But I didn't do anything, and then later, I just felt really weird. Like, I could feel something was off. And then, like, a week later, um, she was, like, literally going around on the motorcycle, and I was in my car, and I saw her. <laughs> Damn. She was like, if only I knew a former child model. <laughs> <laughs> that I could get $3,000.68 <laughs> from. 
<laughs> that is a good scam, though, to just, like, wheel your motorcycle out. Like, what if every time someone came over to your house, like, no matter who it was, you just wheeled your motorcycle out and you got out the shining spray and you started. I wouldn't be surprised if she had done that to more than a one lot person. Of people. You're probably. like, I don't think, Granny, I don't think you should be cleaning that with Windex. And then, I feel like she <laughs> is probably. Is that Fabuloso? Why are you cleaning it with that? <laughs> she probably just does it on a sliding scale, too, when she knows who's coming over. If right. it's a former child model, yeah, you're getting you're into the, the four-figure sums. Yeah. Oh but if it's God. just one of the friends coming over, they only need like three hundred dollars, you know. Is she sc- like shining a lime scooter then? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she takes down the stakes. My pride and joy, my baby. How will I get around town <laughs> as a grandmother <laughs> without my scooter? <laughs> oh man, I love that. I feel like you guys have been famous for a very long time, so I think that you're very ripe for scams. I think people might see you and think you know dollar signs in their eyes you know scams yeah i think that's why you generally have to have a mindset of just everyone is sus so you kind of have to when you're still making bank from a yeast infection exactly in commercial. i'm still getting those residuals from when that you're getting these checks. and you gotta you protect never know, that you can't trust anyone that's that's my nest egg right there i can't let I can't let that be compromised. That's when Nathan really blew up. <laughs> <laughs> like, we know you, Monistat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. Shining that was my bowl cut. I, I still have the overalls. Oh, I love this for you both. <laughs>